Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different than we normally do. We're going to be doing called carving called incise carving. Basically what it is is you're going to be taking a V-tool and a knife. That's the only two tools you'll need and you'll not need a whole lot of pressure but you will need a pattern uh, that you can use and an 8x10 piece of basswood or whatever size of uh, board you'd like to get. This is a very simple way of um, carving. Basically all you're doing is tracing over what you put on your board and there's no relief carving, there's no uh, character carving to it, it's just called incise carving. So you'll notice here on the board here I have a simple little carving or a little drawing and I did not do this. This is Elaine Enloe's book of carving uh, pictures. And so I made a copy of this. And so we've got it on, uh, we're gonna put it on an eight by 10 piece of basswood. And uh, of course, we're going to take our carbon paper here and, and trace it on. One thing you need to do, if, if you can think of it, is, is to get a piece of tape and tape the edges to where your paper won't move on you. But I think we can get along okay without that today. But watch me have to eat my words. So we're gonna take our pencil here and you can start anywhere and you're tracing every line that there is on uh, this particular uh, picture, this drawing. And again, we're just taking our pencil, not putting a whole lot of pressure here. And we're doing all the little frills on her dress and, and, her, and there's no uh, facial features as you can see here in the camera, it's pretty simple. Don't worry about if you get outside the line, it really doesn't matter because the tracing paper that I use is called Choco paper and just a slight bit of moisture will take away uh, any of the mistakes that you may have uh, done here as far as getting out of line. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish tracing this pattern on and then we'll get right into carving. All right, we traced the lines on the on the eight by 10 piece of basswood and I had to go back over the lines because the paper, the charcoal paper didn't show up good on the camera. And so I went over and, and just traced over it with a lead pencil. And so now we're going to uh, take our, what we call a bench hook. And a bench hook is what basically just hooks to the bench and it keeps you from uh, your project from going all over the place and you can put it in different angles and when you're carving and you can make them any size you want, small, large, or medium, for whatever project that you'd like to do. If you'd like to see how I make a bench hook, why well, leave us a few comments below and uh, we'll see if we can uh, come up with something like that for y'all uh, for a future project. So let's get carving. We're gonna, again, we're gonna use a bench knife and a V-tool. And again, it just depends on the size uh, that you're wanting, you can use. Um, we're using a 3 16th V-tool the number four sweep on it and all you're going to do is like I said earlier is just trace over what you have uh, drawn on here and so again uh, there is not much pressure and uh, just relax and breathe and have fun and again you don't have to get right on the line now sometimes you have to turn things to get to the angle that you're wanting now if you'll notice my thumb placement is right is kind of hangs pretty close there to the board and that gives me control and again sometimes I come in and use my other hand try to keep your fingers behind the cutting edge all right so don't get, ever get out here in the front if with your with your tool okay because the wood could give away and of course that would go right into your hand would not be any fun at all again with with relief carving or incise carving you've got to continually turn your wood to get the right cut and the safest cut that you possibly can. Now, if you want to use a more intermediate tool, you can. When I say intermediate tool, it means a longer handle on it, all right? But we're just using our palm tool here today. And with our V, and we're just, again, outlining. And you can get ideas from children's coloring books, uh, even online, if you would like. And whatever you'd like to, uh, try, to try to carve. Again, you can paint this or stain it. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet with this project, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come. But I wanted to show you just a simple way, even for children to learn control 
and learning how to use a tool. So if you're going to have your kids do this, make sure that uh, they have adult supervision at all times. All right, so we're going to go right up the crook of the arm here, the side of his arm. And uh, we're going to come right in here into the face. Again, we're not putting any eyes or any features like that. And there's a lock of hair right there. Going on the brim of the hat, the edge of it. Going on the top, this little boy's been fishing. Took his two favorite friends with him. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this carving out and get the lines completed. And we'll go from there. Okay, now we've finished our carving far as outlining it, and you'll notice here that there's a few little details that I want you to be able to be able to do here. And of course, the little boy here, he has his button for his overhauls here. And so I want to show you how we do that in a, in a way. And you can use a number five uh, U-gouge here. And we're going to, again, just creating the button where so we're doing one like a U and then an upside down C. <clears throat> and then we're gonna come right underneath there where we put that stop cut with our U gouge and we're just relieving on both sides of the button. So that will stand out a little bit. And little things like that there, uh, you can um, put in the carving to give it a little bit more detail. And of course, when you get done carving, look it over and see if there's anything you missed. And, things like that there. And then, you know, basically you can come in here and uh, create your own little, um, your color scheme if you'd like. Now I'm gonna put a few buttons here for her and with the U-gouge. Now this is a smaller U-gouge. This is about a number three or number two. And so again, we're just barely showing, just showing some relief there, all right? So we've got our buttons carved on here, and so now basically all that's left to do is to either stain it or individually paint your figures, uh, you know, whatever colors you'd like the hats and dresses and overhauls to be and whatever the dog. But also too, I'm gonna bring back the pattern here. You could take this and cut this out and carve this and then mount it to a board like this if you wanted more a 3D look, or you could just, again, um, take your knife or your V-tool and outline it and then stop cut it and then relief carve, relief carve it out where it would stand up on its own that way. So there's different ways you can uh, apply this to the board and, and have fun with it. So this just shows you a simple way of a couple of things, learning how to use a V-tool, how to control your tool, especially if you're gonna be teaching someone that's just starting out, this would be a great project to teach someone how to get into carving, especially young people, children. And for those maybe who have arthritis in their hands or whatever, you don't have to hold so tight like you do in character carving. So anyway, I hope this has been encouragement to you. We thank you for joining us today and happy carving.